This wall of 100 lava lamps is being recorded at all times, and that helps to make sure that your credit card information doesn't get stolen. Here's how. When you transmit sensitive or secret information over the internet, it gets encrypted. Here's the 16-digit number to my visa, for example. I can encrypt my credit card number by adding one to each of these digits, and now it's a completely different 16-digit number. If a hacker intercepted this number and tried to use it to purchase something nefarious online, it wouldn't go through because it's not my real credit card number. That's a very weak encryption. I can make it a lot stronger by coming up with a random 16-digit number and then adding each of the digits in each of the corresponding numbers together. The tricky part in all of this, surprisingly, is coming up with that random 16-digit number. Most of the methods that we have for computers to come up with random numbers are not actually random. They're based on things that, in theory, could be predicted. If you're a company like Cloudflare, you need to come up with billions of these encryption keys to help make sure your web traffic stays secure. And they have to be totally random. And this is where the lava lamps come in. To oversimplify it, Cloudflare takes each picture of each lava lamp and then applies a sort of grid to it and determines what the dominant color in each of the squares of that grid is. And if you take all of those numbers, you can sequence them, right? You can take the order of the green and blue squares and come up with random codes based on that data. Now, all of this being said, if you knew the exact wattage in all of the light bulbs in all of Cloudflare's lava lamps, if you knew where the HVAC vents were and what degree of air was blowing out of those vents at what time, and you could map out the air flows and the drafts and stuff like that, you, in theory, could predict where the lava in all these lamps would be flowing. And in theory, you could use that to hack the internet. Even with all this, it's still not random. But by that logic, nothing is. And so this is about as good and about as close as computers are ever going to get.